So today I'm talking about a Chevy or GM vehicle that has a P015B code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. And so what is a P015B code? Well, it's an O2 sensor delayed response, lean two rich, bank one, sensor one. And what does this mean? Well, there's sensors and they're located on the exhaust and they do two things. The first thing they do is they monitor how much oxygen was burnt off during combustion. And then the onboard computer uses this information to adjust the air fuel ratio mixture that's going into the cylinders. And then the second thing they do is they also have heater elements built in and the heater elements do a few things to help it go into what's called a closed loop quicker. They also monitor the catalytic converter. But the onboard computer seen a problem with one of these sensors, so it's got to be troubleshooted to know why. And some possible causes, well, it could be a bad oxygen sensor, could be in the wiring, could be a blown fuse. It can also be an exhaust leak, so be sure to keep a lookout for any exhaust leaks. Since if the exhaust is leaking, it can throw these sensors off. And it's also possible that the sensor is good, but that there's something wrong with the engine. So the engine might be running too lean or rich on bank one, and something might be going on, and the sensor's just just reading this. Usually when that happens, you're going to get other codes. Not all the time, but usually you will. So if you are getting other codes, be sure to pay attention to that. And so the first thing to do when you get this code is to go locate the bank one sensor one oxygen sensor. And there can be some differences on where they're located and how they're laid out and things like this. It's really going to vary. It's going to depend on the year, the engine type and these types of things. And so it's always a good idea to go get a diagram of how they're all laid out. It just makes things easier. For example, here's a 2008 Chevy Silverado 1500. And as you can see, bank one sensor one is, is located right here. It's gonna be located before the catalytic converter. And sensor one is also called the upstream oxygen sensor. Sensor two is called the downstream oxygen sensor. And if you can't get a hold of a diagram, then bank one is always the side of the engine with the number one cylinder. So if you find the number one cylinder, then that'll be the side that's having the problem. And then the first oxygen sensor down on the exhaust is going to be sensor one upstream oxygen sensor. And so once you locate it, the next thing to do is to check out that wiring real good. Check to see everything looks like it's connected and things like this. Basically, just keep in mind anything wrong with that wiring, open, short, bad connection is going to cause the same issues as a bad sensor. So just check that out. Be sure that looks good. And so if you check out the wiring and that all looks good, then the next thing to do is to either test or replace that bank one sensor one oxygen sensor. You can test it if you want to. I made some videos on how you go about testing these if you want to. I'll put a link down below if you want to check that out. But the next thing to do is to either test or replace that bank one sensor one oxygen sensor because this is a common problem with this code. The usual cause is that this oxygen sensor has failed. One thing to keep in mind with these oxygen sensors is that sometimes you need a special tool to, to get around that wire and to get them back in. Not all the time. Sometimes you can't get on them with the open end wrench, but sometimes they are recessed down into the exhaust where you need that special tool to be able to get around that wire and get them back in. So basically go and look at it and be sure you've got the right tools to get it out and get it back in. Otherwise you might need to get this special tool when you go to buy your oxygen sensor. I'll put a link down below to the special tool if you need to check that out. And so that's basically it. I just want to give a basic overview of how you go about fixing a, a Chevy or GM vehicle with the P015B code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. Hello. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you. Please click like, please click subscribe and have a good day.